As we celebrate the three days of amazing competition, you will show us all that Special Olympic athletes are truly athletes. You will help us look beyond any disability to see everyone's abilities. And on behalf of the men and women of the Toronto Police Service and as Chief of Police, I'm extremely humbled to be standing before you tonight as not only our host agency of tonight's events, but myself as Honorary Chair of this inaugural Invitational Youth Games. It is with the utmost pride that the Toronto Police Service are hosting these games and proudly carrying the flame of hope. And I had the opportunity last week with one of my athletes, Joshua Nawachuku, who is now a good friend of mine. There we are. And we had the opportunity of going to Chicago, where in 1968 the first Olympic, uh, Special Olympic Games were held. And we're uh, at uh, Soldier Field. And we lit the torch that is coming here later on today. And that flame of hope is a beacon to promote inclusion for people with intellectual disabilities and inclusion for everybody in the entire world. And I want to thank the over 1,400 volunteers who have selflessly given their precious time to help. Volunteering is a lifeblood of these games, and without their selfless acts, these games would not be possible. It also speaks to who we are as Canadians. So these Invitational Youth Games will be remembered not only for amazing showcasing of athleticism by amazing athletes, it will also create a revolution that will break down barriers and help create unity, tolerance, and respect. And my final point is to you, all of our athletes. I want you to enjoy yourself and have as much fun as possible. I want you to seize these moments and remember that these games belong to you. They are your games, and we are so honored to have you here in the city of Toronto to have a great time. Thank you so much.